Hello students, I am Chalma Reddy. Welcome to CR Maths class. Previous class we have completed addition theorem concept related. We have discussed nearly 20 formulae and Venn diagrams. In this concept related, I am going to discuss the problems. See the question number 56, what they are giving? A and B are two events. P of A is equal to 1 by 4 and P of A union B is equal to 1 by 3 and P of B is equal to P. Then value of P if A subset B. Already I told that A subset B, what is the Venn diagram? This is B. Next inside A, this is A subset B. So observe here, apply the probability P of A, P of A union B, P of A union B is equal to P of B. This is the formula. What is P of A union B value? 1 by 3. Then what is P of B? P. So we need P value. That should be 1 by 3. Fourth option, correct. What they are given? Previous M set question. P of A intersection B is equal to 3 by 25. P of B minus A is equal to 8 by 25. Then P of B. So what is P of uh, B minus A students? B minus A. Out of B, we are subtracted sum of the part A. So that meaning is B minus A intersection B only. Write the formula. P of B minus P of A intersection B. Here we need to find P of B. What is P of B now? P of B is equal to P of B minus A plus P of A intersection B. Substitute the values. This is 8 by 25 and second one 3 by 25. Take the LCM. 11 by 25 is the answer. Probability of B is 11 by 25. First option, correct. Now, 58th question, students, observe. Two events A and B have probabilities 0 0.25 and 0 0.5. That means probability of A given 0 0.25. And the probability of B given, that is 0 0.5 respectively. The probability that, the probability that both A and B are occur simultaneously. Both means what students? Intersection. P of A intersection B is equal to 0. 1, 4. Yes or no? But what we need to find the probability that neither A nor B occurs. Neither A nor B occurs means what? A complement intersection B complement. Neither A nor B occurs. P of A complement intersection B complement. That is the meaning is P of A union B whole complement. This is, we can write another way. 1 minus P of A union B. Okay. What is P of A union B formula? P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. This is addition theorem formula. Okay. Just to substitute the values, 1 minus, minus P of A, that means minus 0 
minus p of b minus 0.5 minus into minus plus 0.14 here observe that first write the positive terms 1.14 minus 0 0.25 5 means 50 how much students 0.75 here calculation also important now the answer is 0.39 first option correct here observe the venn diagram then you will understand neither a nor b occur means this is a this is b and a intersection b also okay neither a nor b occur means this part we need this part one total probability minus a union b those we want to subtract neither a nor b mean this part shaded part first see here what they are given a b c r mutually exclusive and exhaustive events already we have discussed mutually exclusive and exhaustive event means intersection part is null set and union part is sample space in this case take the formula p of a plus p of b plus p of c that is equal to 1 okay now here we need to find p of a union c generally we know the formula p of a union c what is that p of a plus p of c minus p of a intersection c here intersection part is not there so we need p of a and p of c okay how to find p of a see here p of a we can write same like that plus p of b already given in terms of a how much students that is 3 by 2 into p of a plus p of c p of c means how much given 1 by 2 into p of b 1 by 2 into p of b what is p of b 3 by 2 into p of a that is equal to 1. overall a b c events i am converting into single that means p of a now here calculate that what is the lcm 4 is the lcm so take p of a common then take the lcm what we get lcm is 4 here we get 4 plus 6 plus 3 that is equal to 1 finally what is p of a students 4 by 13 but here we need p of c what is p of c p of c is equal to 1 by 2 into p of b but we know that p of b what is that 3 by 2 into p of a substitute the value 1 by 2 3 by 2 3 by 4 p of a is 4 by 13 here 4 4 cancel finally p of c value is 3 by 13 now we need to find p of a union c that is equal to p of a plus p of c because here a b c are mutually exclusive and exhaustive events that's why intersection part is null set 3 by 13 so see the calculation total 7 by 13 this is the answer third option correct a and b are seeking admission into iit if the probable probability of a to be selected probability of a is 0 0.5 and both to be selected is 0 
the utmost probability of b at most means maximum at least means minimum remember it okay so here given things i am writing first p of a how much given 0.5 okay and p of a intersection b given both both means intersection part that is 0.3 but here we need at most probability of b so first here uh, what is uh, probability of a union b they didn't mention so that is you can take total sample space that value should be 1 that value should be 1 now finally how to take the formula how to take the formula p of a union b a union b is equal to p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b these values should be 1 p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b already values given so here i am going to write p of b p of b is equal to 1 minus p of a plus p of a intersection b here at least given means take greater than or equal to at most given means take less than or equal to at most means maximum at least means minimum so here at most given that's why here write the symbol like this p of b less than or equal to 1 minus p of a plus p of a intersection b substitute the values 1 minus p of a 0.5 plus 0.3 so overall observe students how much we get 0.8 so probability of b is maximum 0.8 so second option correct a uh, strength is a 61 61 there are three events a b and c one of which and only one can happen the odds are 7 to 3 against a and 6 to 4 against b the odds against c are this is the problem how to do this how to do this so here odds against odds in favor two types of formulas are there now odds against given that meaning is p of a complement ratio p of a that is equal to how much given students 7 to 3 that is 7 is to 3 and b also odds against given that is p of b complement ratio p of b that is equal to 6 is to 4 so we need to find p of c complement is to c and a b c are one of each one only one can happen that meaning is a b c are mutually exclusive and exhaustive events in that case we will write the formula p of a plus p of b plus p of c that is equal to 1 okay here observe what is p of a complement students that is 7 by total total means 7 plus 3 10 what is p of a p of a means 3 by total students are you understood now tell me p of b complement 6 by total p of b 4 by total so these values substitute here p of a 3 by 
P of B, 4 by 10 plus P of C is equal to 1. So left hand side value send right hand side. Overall, you will get a P of C value is 3 by 10. Then what is C complement students? 1 minus P of C only now. 1 minus 3 by 10, that is 7 by 10. Now we need to find P of C complement ratio P of C, that is 7 by 10 ratio 3 by 10. That means what is the answer, students? 7 is to 3, that is 7 to 3. This is the answer. Which option correct? Third option, correct.